During a fireworks display, a shell is shot into the air with an initial speed of 70 meters per second at an angle of 75 degrees above the horizontal. The fuse is timed to ignite the shell just as it reaches its highest point above the ground. Calculate the height at which the shell explodes, how much time passed between the launch of the shell and the explosion, what is the horizontal displacement of the shell when it explodes. Here, the initial velocity is given to us and then the angle at which the fireworks was shot. Okay. So here it is, uh, initial velocity is uh, 70 meters per second and then angle is 75 degrees. So horizontal component of velocity and vertical component of velocity we have to find out. Horizontal component velocity Vix is equal to Va cos theta is equal to 70 cos 75 that is 18.12 meters per second. Now, vertical component of velocity is VAY is equal to VA sin theta is equal to 70 sin 75 degrees, that is 67.62 meters per second. The first bit is calculate the height at which the, the shell explodes. The shell explodes at the maximum height. When it reaches the maximum height, at that point it explodes. That is what it is uh, uh, saying in the question. So we have to find out the h maximum. To find the h maximum, I use the formula Vf square is equal to Va square plus 2ad. Here I will write Vf square is equal to Va square plus 2ad. This formula I use. Okay, so here y component velocity we have to take. So Vf y, is a, Vf y square is equal to Va square plus 2ad d instead of d, I will write h max. At the maximum height, the velocity becomes zero that we know. Therefore, it becomes zero. And then I will plug in the value for the initial velocity and then the acceleration. Acceleration, I take the g value 9.8. As it is going up, the velocity decreases. So the acceleration will be negative and h maximum. Therefore, a h maximum is equal to 233.25 meters. This is the answer for the a bit. Next, b bit. How much time passed between the launch of the shell and the explosion? That means how much time the shell takes to reach the maximum height. So for that, what I do is Vfy is equal to Vay plus Vat. This equation I will take. At the maximum height, the velocity is zero. And initial velocity along y direction, I know. I just know I calculated. And then acceleration is known to us. Therefore, t I can calculate. No? So t is equal to 6.9 seconds. Next, c bit. What is the horizontal displacement of the shell when it explodes? So horizontal displacement is equal to horizontal velocity into time. Time just now we found out. And then horizontal uh, velocity we know is 18.12 meters. Therefore, uh, displacement, horizontal displacement is equal to horizontal velocity into time. It gives 125 meters. That is the answer for this question. Okay, this is the projectile motion problem. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.